How's it going, subscribers and future subscribers? Welcome to number four in my animation nodes example series. I'm going to introduce you to a few matrix nodes to make a solar system. Please like and subscribe right now. Be sure to watch the end of the video so you can better see the procedural texture I use to make the planets. Although I'm not going to build this node tree in this video, I just wanted to go over a little bit of how the nodes work in the intro video that I made. What you would see that's new if you've watched my other videos is the object instancer is new and all of these matrix nodes down here are new as well as, well actually all of these in this red frame are new. This object instancer is new and this invoke sub program for a group sub program is new. So what I just want to show here is that the object instancer is pointed at the planet that I made um, and I made five instances. That sends this through here. It adds ran four random numbers to it so that it randomizes the size of it, the speed of the actual rotation, which I'm calling the day, the distance from the sun, and the speed of that it rotate that it revolves around the sun or the revolution, uh, which I'm calling the year. Whoops, year is up here. <laughs> anyway, so you can see from my time info node right here that I'm actually doing the animation in this sub program. So I send, so I send all of the instances into this loop, and then from there, each instance gets its own size, speed, two different speeds, and distance, and it gets fed into the invoke subprogram for my group. All of these uh, amounts are then sent to the matrix math nodes, which place the uh, planets in the proper place in the solar system. That's how that works. So what I'm going to do is do basically this stuff right here but I'm going to rebuild it with other objects, not a planet. This node tree will be available with the blend file. You'll find the link in the description below. Okay, so I've got a node editor open and a 3D uh, window open. And the first thing I'm going to do now is add a object matrix output. I'm going to select my torus and eyedropper it. So the torus goes right in there. Next thing I want is matrix combine. And I want a matrix list. It's under matrix list. So I connect these two together here like that. The next thing is going to be a scale matrix, scale, which I'm not going to connect quite yet. I'm going to leave a spot for that. I'm going to do a rotation matrix. This one's going to rotate um, the object for its day rotation. I'm going to put it on the center one, and you can see my torus rotates inside the cube there. The next thing I'll do, and it has to be done in this order or else it won't work, is do a translation rotation. I'm going to only modify the X and plug him into here. The X will make it so that it goes away from the center. So I'll say three. So it's three units away from the center of where it started. Next, I'll do a matrix rotation again. And that'll make it so that it rotates around. So if I put it on Z, now he's rotating around the center of where it started. If I did that out of order, like for instance, put the translation first, and then the rotation, then it would really just rotate twice. So it would ro rotate faster. <clears throat> so 
So if I add a time, time info, and put it on the rotation here and hit Alt A to make the animation go, he rotates. I connect that to the revolution and he rotates and goes around the sun. If I think that's too fast, I'll add a math node. And I'm going to multiply by point one, point zero one, or point 0.1, and that'll make it go around 10 times slower. So then the next thing I want to do is make a subprogram. It's going to be a group subprogram. And... I'm going to do a new parameter is going to be object. object. And plug him right into there. Now nothing is happening because my I haven't invoked it yet. So what I'm going to do next is add a subprogram and invoke my group. I'm going to put it on the torus and my torus rotates. If I duplicate this and put it on the isosphere, then the isosphere, isosphere rotates with it. I'll duplicate this one more time and point it at the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I got torus, isosphere, and cube. Now they all are rotating together. I'm going to change the scale of the element here and rotate and uh, connect the parameter to my subprogram. So now I can change the size of each one of those based on how I invoke the subprogram. I'm going to make this math node, I'm going to duplicate him and put him in there just like that. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to add an input here. And that input is for the day. So I'm going to call this day. And this inf input will be for the year. So I'll call that year. Next, my distance. Uh, I need a separate. Um, rather a combine vector and I really only want to affect oopsie I really only want to affect the X Boom. which is distance so now I can invoke the subprogram with each one of these types of things so the year now, the day is going to, I'm going to leave the day the same. So I'll make the torus so that the year is twice. Actually, let me do my distances first. I'll make the torus the furthest one out. He's out at 10. And he's whipping around good distance. I'll make the isosphere out at 7. And I'll make my cube go out to 4. I don't know what I did there, but there we go. Next, I want to change the speed of the year so that I'm going to make the center one go twice as fast. So I'll make it go. So you can see he's whipping around twice as fast as each of the other ones. And I'll make this one here, the cube, go twice as slow, 0.05. Then I can change the day for each one of them. So now they're all rotating at different speeds. They're going around at a different speed and they're at different distances. 
Now, in my other node tree, I made it so that the list loop or the loop assigned random size, speed, and all of that stuff. Where here, the way I did it, I can change it to however I want. So let's make the cube twice as small. I'll just change this to 0.5, each one of these. Now my cube is much smaller. That's about it. Thank you for watching. I show you how to do the procedural texture for the planet in my ebook. But you can also just download the blend file and see how it works there. Feel free to leave a comment below and have a wonderful day.